one 0 What did you make of that? Uh, I don't know. It's a, a mediocre performance, I think. Uh, apart from a few exceptions, for, uh, Derby defended well. I think they deserved the point. I think. It was very poor, to be honest. I think there was no cutting edge or anything. We, no input at, at all. I think we're missing that big striker up front. Like, obviously, Hugo came on, but I don't think he was brilliant. I think we were a lot better with a striker like that, but we need Dal Dyke in Jan January from Orlando, definitely. We're in our best performance, but we give it a good shot. Hopefully, we can improve for the next game. He's yeah. uh, better out. Dal Dyke to finish a ball in the box. They'd cross all the balls in, but wouldn't get anything onto it. I think they need to pass the ball around a bit more instead of just hoofing it up all the time. They play, a, play a bit more direct football instead of just hitting it up and over the top and hoping for the best. Yeah, try to play in the middle rather than that was like plan B. Yeah. Frustrating, very frustrating game. Uh, we had a lot of chances, but their keeper was on form tonight, Kelly Roos. Yeah, he's a great keeper. Um, I think we'll get a lot of games like that. Yeah, we will, we will. We'll have to grind some yeah. more out, but we couldn't do that tonight. Yeah. Uh, but I think away from home will probably be... I think we'll get more points away from home. Probably more threat away from home this season. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fair result in the end. Um, I mean, we absolutely battered um, Derby's goal. Uh, their goalkeeper, their defence put bodies on the line. Um, so yeah, all credit to Derby for keeping it at nil-nil. It could so easily have been like two, three, four, five nil to us. So, so yeah, all credit to them. Second half, it was an improved performance, but they just couldn't find the goal, could they? No, I couldn't find the goal. A few chances, but um, just couldn't find the breakthrough. Really so, uh, putting Grady back on to the left, to be Definitely. honest, and when Hugo came on, he made a difference, he held the ball up well, so I think next week I think it's uh, Grady on the left and uh, Hugo on top for me. Dean Guy had quite a few uh, chances where he just kind of, I couldn't really see where I was on the ground. It looked like he just kind of put, tried to put it across goal and no one was there. That's why we need that instinctive striker who would you know, find himself in those positions. But yeah. We had a few chances uh, from where we sat. We were sat down the other end to, to where they were shooting. It looked like quite a few were going to go in, but unfortunately they didn't. So hopefully we can uh, improve for our next game. Yeah, and Hugo made a difference, I thought. I definitely thought he's really strong, really strong. I like the way he uses his chest. I think he'll do well for us. So yeah, some good indications in the second half, but still frustrating. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's that final third that we're lacking in at the moment. Um, I mean, we had it at the start of the season with um, Sheffield United here. Uh, but yeah, in recent games, um, Millwall game, we got a goal. Uh, but yeah, um, we seem to be lacking in the final third. How confident are you for the rest of the season? Can Albion get themselves promoted? Playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. I thought playoffs at the beginning, I think playoffs now. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we might bring in a couple of additions. It's a long shot, obviously. A couple of additions in uh, January, but other than that, playoffs. A few more additions in January and yeah, I think obviously big loss in Dar Roche out of six months. But we need to see what our uh, Matt Clark coming back, we've got Keaton Bryant. So yeah, hopefully, I mean Derby are a poor side, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see us against a better side like Fulham or someone. But yeah. Yeah, we, get oh, we haven't lost yet, so that's that's a bonus. <laughs> if we get someone in January to like <laughs> strengthen the team, that's it. Somebody like Dwight Gale back, I suppose. Um, fingers crossed, anyway. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think so. I think, so. I think it's still top two. Top two, top two. Got to take him, yeah. yeah. But it's going to be us and Fulham, I think, at the end of the season. Yeah. It's going to be us and Fulham. Yeah, I think so. For the finale of the championship, for sure. Miss Dara today as well, I've got to say that. Oh, massively. I think we massively missed him. Yeah. He would have made a difference. Yeah. Adding the confidence to the midfield, you know, yeah. just having him in the defence. Yeah. I think he's been our best defender at the minute. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, um, you know, Derby came out to, uh, they had a game plan, I mean, it's Wayne Mooney, you know, uh, so they've got good influence there and um, their game plan was simply, you know, to play, uh, to, obviously they want to win, but play for a draw, you know, it's always nice. That's their fourth draw now, so something seems to be working for them, but they, they need the points.